I'm Dave Buttfield. These days, fishing is so much more than just soaking your bait in the water. And you may have some questions like, where's the most productive area to go fishing for your target species? When's the best time to catch that species? And of course, what is the best bait to use? Throughout my travels both here in Australia and overseas, I've been very fortunate to wet a line for some pretty amazing species. From Barramundi in India, giant kingfish in New Zealand, and monster brim on the south coast of New South Wales, just to name a few. In that time, I've learnt so many different ways to catch a fish, and now it's my aim to try to pass that information on to you. Or I hook a small one, I'm hooked on fishing again. On this week's show, I head to the Hawkesbury River. This river twists and winds for 120 kilometres and is connected to the Gross and Nepean River. This is one of my favourite fishing locations and has a wide range of fish species, making it a great place to fish. But the fish I'm after today is one of the most sought after species in the river, and it's the Jewfish. Oh, you're on, mate. Yeah. Oh, leather jacket. That's a good size leather jacket. Yeah, good jacket. So here we are on the beautiful Hawkesbury. I won't say it's a beautiful day, but <laughs> uh, we've uh, Ron Osmond from Hawkesbury Fishing Charters. Mate, thanks for having us on board today. No worries. And uh, first off, to kick the show off, we're just going to do some brim fishing, some very basic brim fishing. We're just here at Fleet and Steel. And mate, you've got a leather jacket. Yeah, good jacket, little bycatch for the brim. Uh, they're fantastic eating, good for the kids, not many bones. Easy to clean. Easy to clean, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, we might chuck him back, eh? Yeah, chuck him back in, mate. See if we can get one of those big brim. See you later, buddy. So, mate, what's our plan today? So, we're going to go for a brim or just have a little fish around? Yeah, we'll just have a quick go for the brim while the tide's sort of still slow and then we'll anchor up and have a go for the dewies. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Never know with the dewies. Might and one. earlier on, just at the crack of dawn, we put some traps out. Yeah, we put some crab traps out already. We'll go and check them in a few hours' time and hopefully get some blue swimmers. They've been a little bit quiet, but we should get a few. It's a great fishery. It's like there's a lot of different fish, uh, fish you can get through here. Just out the front, yep. around West Head, you'll get some uh, kingfish. Yep. Uh, yep. In here, we'll get brim, we'll get snapper, and down further, we'll get, try for some dewy. So it's going to be a pretty interesting day. Yep. Yep. And look, it's raining, but who cares? That's I mean, it. there's no one else out. Hey, fish are really wet, so yeah, yeah, it doesn't really it. matter. So let's get some lines in the water and see if we can pull in another fish. Well, while we wait for our next fish to come in, I'll just show you this rig, and it's probably one of the most simple rigs you can do. Um, we've got about some six pound, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. I like using fluorocarbon because it goes invisible. So we've got a, a suicide 1O, and probably a size O, or size one ball sinker, so very, very small. Now we're using prawns and pillies, you can use whatever bait you want, but with the prawns, I like to peel them as well. I find you get a better hookup rate, just like that. You're on? Yep, beautiful. There you go. So, yeah, just uh, peel that, uh, that, that prawn and hope that's a brim. I think so. And we shouldn't be too far. We're, so we're sitting right on top of the reef now. A little bit of a burly trail going. Yeah, I think it's a brim, mate. Burly trail going. So the fish are following that burly trail up. We've got our bait. That's a nice brim too. Well Easy done, bud. Good brim. Well, there you go. Nice big fat. Hawksbury, Hawksbury can hold some really good brim and, and they're always healthy and big and fat. Yep, yeah, he's probably about 30 I'd say. Measure him up. Yeah, just over 30. Just mate. over 30, so yeah, anyone would be happy with a fish like that. And, and very simple rigs I was just talking about, you know, single hook, light sinker, yep. and away you go. That's it, Burley's the secret. That's it, and mate. fish to change, can't fish too much of the running out tide or it's just going too fast. That's right, it's exactly. All so, right, we'll get him back, back in the water. Yeah, no beautiful. Here we go. Yeah, well that was pretty simple. Pretty simple. We hope it's a yeah, I think it's a brim. Oh, do you get any big snapper off here? Not big ones. Every now and then we get a run of 35, 38, 40 centimetres and but every now and then someone does catch a real big one down here. You I've heard. As well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. beautiful. Well, yeah, there you and go. Then, then, like I've heard of guys getting four, I know a bloke that's got a four and a half, and I know a bloke that's got a six and a half kilo, so. Okay. 
Yeah, a little brim. Oh, mate, this is a lot bit smaller than your one, but uh, it's still the, the fish we're after. That's it, the targeted species. You can go back in the water. See you later, buddy. And a brim snapper. as well. Oh, snapper. Well, there you go. We're just talking about that. <laughs> you lot this size. Little bait stealers, we call them. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you're fishing for jewies, they just love your squid. Double the size would be nice. Yeah, exactly. So the thing is, as well, fishing off this reef, you will even come across the odd dewy sitting on here. Yep, yeah, we've been, I mainly fish for the brim in close here and then for the dewy's fish out wider. It's off a bit the reef? Less, yeah, off, just off the reef, or still just on the very edge of it. Staying a bit deeper. Yeah, it's staying a bit deeper. Definitely staying a bit deeper, mate. So he was playing with that bait for a while. And become much smaller. And there you go. And there's our Dewey. That's a small guy, but it's a mate. We're in the right spot. Nice and healthy, and that's what we want: healthy fisheries. And uh, one day this will turn into a hopefully a 30 or 40 kilo Dewey. See, he's got a bit of ground to do. You can still hear them, and you probably won't hear that I can feel the vibrations, that croaking. Right. Yep. Even though the small ones will do it. But, uh, you know, we're only about at this spot for probably about half an hour, and we've got some tailor, we've got a small dew, and we've just had, oh, that one's getting hit again, and we've had a few hits. So it, it's looking very promising, and it's pouring down rain. So, you know, you guys at home, if it's an overcast or a rainy day, get out of here and fish. You know, you, you still will catch some great fish. And so, no crowds. All right, we'll get him back in the water and uh, we'll keep on fishing. Well, there you go. Tiny, even smaller. It's even smaller, mate. It's a fish tank one. You wouldn't believe he'd get that hook in his mouth, would you? I know, it's amazing, isn't it? That little Dewey took that uh, big bait and that big hook. Tiny little guy. So a lot of bud. So what do you reckon, Ron? Mate, we've got a couple of dewies. Uh, we've got a couple of tailor. Uh, we haven't had a bite for about 20 minutes, so you reckon we'll move spots? Yep. Yeah, we'll go and uh, check the crab traps oh, out. that's right. Yeah, we'll Clean check our out. traps. And we we have we've got a uh, crab. Yep. Or two. Yeah. And we'll go and flick some plastics around. Fuddies, maybe a dew. Okay. If we're lucky. And then we can probably even come back here later on and see yep. if we can pick the dew off again. Yeah, definitely come back and give it another hour later. Yep. All right. Fingers, mate. Feels a bit better, this one. Bit of weight on there. there. Oh, yes. Nice, good one, oh, too. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, that's what we wanted. And that up there. That's a good little system you got there, mate. Yeah, yeah, nice, noisy. Nice well, there's our blue swimmers, and that's what we're really after. And these are a good size, too. They are a good size. Um, so the way these, these are called witches hats, and uh, if you haven't seen them before, they're very, very easy to use, very, very, very cheap, around about $5 to $6, $7, and, uh, and there's a the blue swimmer there. Still be careful, they do bite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they, you'll know about and it. they hurt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, there's our blue swimmer here, and what they do, we've got our fish, we've got a bit of a uh, key head on there, some fish bait. Now, very important, we're gonna show you something, a little technique, um, especially when you want to put the crab out of their misery. And if I just threw him in with that one, he would go nuts and they'd fight with each other and they'd rip each other's legs off. So I'd put him away. Just pin him down for a minute. Let him settle. 
Settle down and really slowly shut the lid, slam the lid and they'll go nuts. So yeah, a lot of guys, they'll throw them in there and what they'll do, they'll, they'll just freak out and yep. just bite stuff and, and damage each other. Yeah, damage each other, rip each other's, crush each other's shell and then they don't cook as well. So That's it. And the same with the muddies, out. what I do with the muddies, I'll put them on ice, yep. they'll go in their coma, so when you do get back to the boat ramble at home, yep. you can get them out straight away, you can put them into the boiling water. Um, I, I don't like chucking them in there while they're kicking no, around, no. it's not and, real And nice. they throw their nippers off. That's right, exactly. Yep. So. Yep. Uh, very important to use that ice, and um, but look, that's not too bad, mate. Yeah, that's We've got right. two already. Couple of crabs. Exactly. Let's check the others. All right, mate. Feeling feels, heavy. Yeah, feels all right. Hey, oh, he's, a, yeah. he's a big one, that one. He's a good one. He is in there too. <laughs> good luck with that one, mate. <laughs> That's a good crab. That's a good crab. Beautiful. It's our biggest one so far, mate. Yeah, he's a beauty. Excellent. Well, there you go. There's a few crabs on board. We've got our traps back out. So, Ron, what do you reckon now we'll do? Yeah, we'll go and flick some plastics around, get a few flatties and maybe a dewy. Mate, it's still raining. Yes, it hasn't stopped. But we're still getting fish and That's crabs. It. Catching so. fish, doesn't matter. All right, well, we'll get our rods ready and uh, we'll go and chase some more fish. Ron, here we are. We've moved up the, the creek now, so we're going to change our tactics a bit. We've done uh, a little bit of dewy fishing, some yeah. brim fishing. Uh, now we're going to put the plastics on and uh, cast towards the bank and see if we can get a dewy fish or maybe even a flathead. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here, just in the back there's some sand, but we're working along this area here where you've got the, the, the oysters, little oysters or cockles sitting on the side. And um, we're going to work these areas. A lot of fish do sit along these edges. Um, you may get a dew fish, you may get a uh, flathead, um, and then on the run out tie, especially on these sand flats, I like fishing on the edge of it. You've got the fish moving out, you like your brim, your whiting, and flathead. Uh, but all these little bays uh, in the Hawkesbury do hold some great fish. You will get squid as well. So I've got my plastic on here. Uh, I'm going to cast that towards the shoreline and just work it back and just flick, flick it off the bottom and just work it back, and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get a fish that way. All right, so we're gonna let our line hit the bottom. And all I'm gonna be doing is, especially with a flat head, you'll find you'll get them, once you rip up and you'll go back down, you'll get them on the, on the drop. So, and half the time, sometimes when you lift up, it's sitting in the fish's mouth and the fish will just gobble it and just sit there. And then you go to just lift up and then you've hooked up. So, so it's hit the bottom, we'll just go flick, flick, and let it hit the bottom. Hit the bottom, and that's all we're doing. All right, well, we've just got to hit, hit it hard too, so we don't know what we've got. I hope it's something decent, but through this stretch here, I used to get a lot of pike uh, when I was going for my dewy, so um, it could be a pike, but we just don't know yet. A little snapper. I just got this little crawdad where I've cut his tail off, so what you've seen me do in the past, and floated that down and this little snapper's grabbed hold of it. So I wish it was a brim, but uh, it's still a fish. So we've just got to uh, find him. We'll just cast out it again. And, and that's all it is, just a, the little crawl uh, with a 1 jig head. And we're just drifting along these rocks here and see what we can find. It's a little bit quiet on the floodies at the moment. I thought we'd get a, a couple of floodies straight off here. Uh, but we have had a lot of rain today, so that you know, may be changing things. Who, who knows? But uh, I thought we'll try for a brim, but I've just got a snapper, as you've seen. Um, but we'll get that back out there, uh, let this float down with the current, and, um, and see what we can pull in. Yes. 
set you over here. Just fill it. Oh, we got, yeah, we got a flat here, I think. Oh, don't break me off. There we go, he's in the water right here. Beautiful, right in the side of the mouth. Thank you, little mate. And there's our flatty. He's no monster, but at least we've got one on the board. And I was getting a little bit worried there um, for a while. Just going, well, we're not gonna, I don't think we'll get a flathead today. But as you can see here, uh, on the top of his head, you've got them spikes. Uh, you can see them. That's the thing you've got to really watch. And once you get pricked by them, it really hurts and you bleed and bleed and bleed. And he's got them out at the moment, it flared out. And, uh, but uh, look, it's, it's no monster, but it's legal. And that was just on that plastic. So we'll have a few more cars through here and hopefully uh, we can get another nice uh, flatty. Let's get him in there. Yep, yep, mate, we're on, we're on, we're on. Mate, well, I was just checking that bait, just had a couple little touches on it, and we got a fish. Nice and deep, staying deep. It's yeah, so it could be a dewy. He hasn't really had a big run, but that's the only thing that worries me. Mightn't this is be. Probably just a little one, eh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, hey, a bit that's better. That's no dewy. There we go. A little bit small. Oh, no, he's all right. All right, we'll bring him over. Beautiful. Oops. That's a bit bigger, mate. A bit bigger. Yeah. Oops. I'll get that drag off. Well, there you go. We're just, um, we're just getting a couple little touches, and I thought it was just a, maybe a brim pecking it, you know, just, you know, you get the brim or the tail having yep. a go of it, and it just went bang, went straight down. So, kind of took me by surprise. But uh, we got a dewy, mate. Dewy on board, a little bit bigger. He's probably close to a keeper. He is. Just. Yeah, he's seven, just over 70. Just legal now that they've put the size limit up. So. That's right, very important. A lot of people don't realise the size limit has changed for the dewfish. Um, and look, that's, that's a, you know, bef you know anything under that. Yeah. Uh, you can't keep it. I mean, that's a nice fish. It Nothing is. wrong with that. Good that's a good, fish. good eating size. Yeah, yeah. You feed six people out of that fish. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, mate, it's, it's up to you. Do you want to take one home? No, nah, mate, not for me. I reckon you can, you can go back in the water. Yeah, put him back. Get him, get you him can nice fight and big. Another day. Catch him next time. And hopefully, I'm just watching these rods getting little taps on them. Uh, hopefully, we can get another one before we go home. We still get our crab traps. The check yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, hopefully we get another few crabs out, that'd be good. Excellent, let's get him back in the water, we'll give him a swim. I'm Ben from AV Marine, and today I'd like to show you one of the larger boats in our range, the 5 meter Razor. Now this boat is a great all-rounder boat for fishing in the estuaries, sneaking out the front for your reef fish, and even barramundi. Let's go and take a look. So let's start at the bow. The Razor features the Pro-X hull, which is exclusive to AV Marine. The hull incorporates an intense entry dead rise, which provides a smoother ride and eliminates slapping and banging. Then the hull tapers flat towards the back, which gives you stability. This hull performs quite well with low horsepower. Let's climb aboard and have a look. So now we're on board the boat. As you can see, there's tons of room for the family, the bloke that likes to go fishing, or even go camping. Some of the standard features include a large storage area, a keeper tank, it features an anchor well, bow rails, side rails, and a rear boarding step. Now the Razor S incorporates a large flat floor which gives you tons of space, and also has a rear box lounge as the tiller steer. Now today we've got a customer's boat and it's been heavily optioned. It features a large centre console, custom seating for the driver, it has a rear motor well, an electric motor bracket. 
If you'd like to check out our full range, go to www.aluvan.com.au or see one of our deals. We're on. We missed the hookup and uh, it was a little bit, because we, we had a bit of a tangle, so, uh, but we got another Dewey. He's still tangled. It's still tangled. <laughs> but he's a little bit smaller than the last one. Well, there you go, mate. That's another Dewey. Seems to be getting better as it gets later. Oh, then we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. We're getting another hit. Yep. There you go. Oh, there's another Dewey, so. You on, mate? Yeah, he's a bit smaller than that one, I think. And we've got... One a bit smaller. Just one a little bit smaller, so not bad. Pretty pretty impressive, um, you know, having that right bait, just being patient, and that's what it all comes down to. I have a lot of people that come into my store and go, I can't catch a dewy. I spend an hour there, and then that's enough, I'll go home. And I said, that's your biggest problem, because you've got to spend the time to chase these fish. That was, uh, he's 55 centimetres, so in the old days, he would have been a, a good fish. Yep, both of these fish would have been legal. Yep. So. He's back in, and this one can go back in as well. So, mate. Oh, there he goes. A nice kick. Well, well there you go. We just got five Jewies today, so it's not too bad. So we've still got our crab pots to check. So let's go over and check our traps. Feels heavy, mate. Yeah, it feels a bit better, this one. Oops. Two. Oh, oh, oh. Two good ones as well. And one that tied the biggest knot ever. Yeah, he's in a good knot, that one. Might be the, might take a bit to get out. Another small one. Righty. Want me to go that claw now? Or yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be right. It won't bite me, will we? Right, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful, that's a good one. Good crab. Beautiful. Feels like this. A little bit of weight. Wow. That's had a... Uh, <laughs> that net's had a better day too, my yeah, friend. Yeah, I think I might have to fix that one. That's a brand new net I only did last night. Are oh, you kidding? Nah. It would have had muddy got in that. A coral crab, I reckon. Coral crab, maybe a mud crab. Shark, maybe. Not sure. Mm -hmm. Bait's still there, but. Right. Yeah. Yeah, bugger, eh? Either that or well, someone's, I'd say, you know, looking at it, you'd think someone's cut it out, but they would have done the other ones as well. They wouldn't just cut one crab out. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we could have had a muddy in that, and that's what the mud crabs will do that kind of trap, won't, won't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. they'll rip them apart. They destroy them, destroy them. So, um, yeah, it could have been our muddy, and Lloyd said a coral, uh, coral crab, crab will do the same, will yeah, it? Yeah, those red crabs, they're really strong. You know, you can see how big built that one is, and, yep. and you get some real big ones down here. All right, well, we've got a good feed, so let's head back to the boat ramp. So here we are, Ron, back at the boat ramp. Mate, it was a very wet day, but a great day. We got some fish. We Did. got some good fish. Great fish and great crabs. Now, mate, we got uh, some brim today, tailor, dewfish, but the thing that let us down was the soft plastic. And I think, because we had so much rain, yep. they put that fish off the bite and pushed them out a bit more. Yeah, it must have been, because this time of year is usually on fire for flatty, so. Yep. Yeah. This time last year, we'll, we'll get 15 an hour, so. Well, we'll have to do it again. That's a good excuse anyway yeah, to get back yeah. out there. But then we got Dewey's at the end. Yeah, uh, mate, good. we could have sat on the Dewey's all day and got pre-20s. You know, it was it was yep. pretty easy fishing. But when you go out with the right person, have the right bait, uh, you get fish. And, mate, you, uh, I've seen some of your photos on your website and you've got some monster Dewfish. Yeah, you've got some big Dewey's over the years. So. And, and you do crabbing, you do plastics, bait, uh, the whole lot. Yeah, do the whole lot and most of the time all in one day. So it just depends on what the customer wants. That's right. Give him a call, jump on the website and you can click on the link on ours. It's hooktv.com.au. Remember the name, Hawkesbury Fishing Charters. And uh, Ron, mate, it's been a pleasure. No worries. Thanks for coming out. And if you want to catch Dewey's, this is the man in the sea. And um, crabs, mate, I'm going home to cook some crabs. No worries. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll see you next week somewhere around Australia. Water makes it clear. That vision's just like therapy The worries of the world all just drift away When I'm out here fishing for the day So if I hook a big one Or I hook a small one I'm hooked on fishing again